Hello everyone! Welcome back to Charmed Rewind! We're in season seven. <laughs> <laughs> Gone too far. It's like, yeah, um. <laughs> <laughs> You pointed this out, I didn't really think about it but, uh, before, but this would have been the penultimate episode of the show had they not got that last second season eight. Yeah. So this could have potentially been like leading up to the series finale is this. And they branded it. I slept with the zombie. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> see, I talked about this in the old manic episodes videos, but like they had the, the deceitful advertising in the promos where they would straight up just change the plot or the names <laughs> of the episodes. But this I think was the most egregious of just pretending it's something else mm -hmm. because this is like a serious dramatic episode as far as charmed is, is concerned. It's supposed to be anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, but they just advertised it like a comedy. Yeah. A comedy zombie. Yeah. I slept with a zombie. <laughs> Fresh Charmed, I Slept With a Zombie, on the WB's Big Sunday. Uh, this episode's not called I Slept With a Zombie. It's <laughs> Season 7, Episode 21, Death Becomes Them. The scene they're talking about in that promo, I Slept With a Zombie, <laughs> is a horrific, traumatic scene <laughs> where, where Phoebe is being confronted by someone she saw uh, violently murdered in front of her. Mm -hmm. And he is saying, this is your fault. Uh, but they make it out like, I slept with a zombie? <laughs> Just what makes Phoebe finally kind of consider, oh yeah, I guess he died too. I was more upset that it ruined my date. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling her usual Phoebe shit. Yeah. Uh, but yes, that's the plot of the episode. We're in season seven, we're near the end. We got the stuff with Zanku going on currently, where he's trying to get the Book of Shadows, take over the Nexus under the house, and other random evil stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're also in the middle of the Sheridan stuff. She's been investigating the girls to try and expose them. Uh, she was put into a coma uh, right. to keep her from, from talking, and now they just keep using memory dust on her in a roofie circle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking her head up, basically. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's the main storylines going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else you want to talk about before we get in? No. All right. So we start with Phoebe in a car park outside of the school. She's uh, gone back to school for psychology. I think this is her second return to college. <laughs> um, she is getting assistance changing the tire on her car. IMDB noted that in past episodes, Phoebe said she could change a tire herself. So she's just getting yeah. this guy to do it because she's being lazy. She had to get rid of that knowledge to think more about herself. <laughs> <laughs> She used memory dust like, oh, this is taking up valuable headspace that could be dedicated to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's being helped by uh, a fellow student who she's been flirting with. Uh, Tim. Jimmy. Yeah, Tim. A generic, handsome, early 2000s man. Call him Glassjaw Tim and Glass find <laughs> out why. <laughs> so, yeah, they're discussing psychology together. Um and the guy says, hey, you're pretty good at this psychology stuff. <laughs> and she says, yeah, well, you should read my column. <laughs> He's like, I do. And he's like, Ugh. <laughs> How do you write that stuff? And you don't think this character comes off like self-centered and obnoxious? Like, you mm -hmm. should read my column. <laughs> <laughs> you're good at this stuff. <laughs> well, that's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Uh, you called it a meat gross? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, they're flirting pretty hard, uh, and Tim invites Phoebe on a study date, and that's when we first find out his name is Tim. <laughs> <laughs> a really big moment <laughs> in the show. Uh, Phoebe accepts this uh, study date request and uh, says that it'll be her treat uh, because of him helping her here. And he says, it's a deal. And then she says, you're going to take me up on that? Yeah, she's upset. <laughs> like, I didn't really want to pay. Yeah, like, <laughs> you should have said no and insisted. And then he says it's reverse psychology. And I don't, I don't know what he means. <laughs> yeah, what, what the hell does that mean in this case? Like, what? They just really wanted to get to that reverse psychology thing. Like, they thought that was really clever because they were talking about psychology, but they mm -hmm. didn't have any, like, good lead up Maybe to it. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> no. We have no time to figure out what this means either, because that's when a demon ninja of some sort uh, teleports in out of nowhere. 
and then violently murders Tim with a Wolverine claw. <laughs> it hits him in the face, you know, like with this shredder or Wolverine claw yeah. once. He gets like scratch on his face and his jaw and he's dead. <laughs> Like, was there some super fast acting poison or something? Just like he gets slashed in the face and he's instantly dead. His face was was pretty chewed up. I guess you you know you could bleed out from your face. Maybe that's Not what that happened. quick. Jeez, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he he did. <laughs> uh, so Phoebe beats up the ninja guy uh, into a fence, and somehow he falls into like a piece of rebar that's like yeah. nonsensically vertical these like are, standing up on the ground these are the glass jaws meeting here with this demon and tim because yeah, this demon yeah. immediately takes itself out too. it was it was shot so quickly we had to look at it like a few times to figure out what happened yeah like because, how did that demon even yeah, die there the, the demon is like kicked into a fence that we have not seen in the scene previously we get a like mm -hmm. half second shot of this fence and then he falls down in this this rebar that I don't know where it came from is just you standing always want a on the piece ground. Of, like rebar sticking out of the pavement in yeah, your parking I garage. I don't know why it's standing like that, or if it was supposed to have fallen out. But it, it physically, it was just stand. It wasn't like yeah. it was falling and then he fell onto it. It was just there, like it was just yeah. stuck out of the ground like yeah, that. It seems to be stuck in the cement or something. Yeah, but whatever happened, he falls into it and poofs away. Yeah, he's immediately dying. dead too. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's about as weak as Tim. <laughs> this is supposed to be like a a demonic hitman of sorts and he's taken <laughs> out like this <laughs> like what <laughs> i'm bleeding making me the victor so uh so phoebe goes to check on tim uh who is dead in a pile of ketchup <laughs> <laughs> uh and, and then she's we... like oh no i feel so bad for me <laughs> this is really bad for me <laughs> We're watching the Blu-rays, so we're back to seeing licensed music or hearing yeah. it. I guess you don't see the music, <laughs> <laughs> but like the opening credits are the the proper song, and then like we cut back to like a Vanessa Carlton song, and I'm like, what? Like I'm so used to these yeah. like generic replacements yeah. they have on streaming. Strange to hear the old theme again. Yeah, I don't know if on uh, season eight they also have the theme replaced, or if this is left over from their deals with the DVDs, because I, I believe they did have the music licensed for the first seven seasons and then mm -hmm. they they replaced it in season eight <laughs> they lost their own theme song mm -hmm. anyway just kind of we're noting this is our experience <laughs> if you watch the blu-rays you can uh you can see the uh, or you can hear the actual see you can the see music. the music anyway uh so phoebe is checking the book of shadows and Piper comes in uncharacteristically worried about her so you know <laughs> something's wrong here this is not Piper. We should have known immediately it wasn't yeah. her, because she's like, oh, honey, what's going on? Like, oh, that's not Piper. Yeah. That's not Piper. <laughs> the Piper come in storm cloud above her head, like, baby, you're annoying me. Baby, quit whining. <laughs> it's Christmas birthday coming up. Mary saws her out the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also uncharacteristically, Phoebe is sad about losing an innocent, but that's probably because he kissed her butt, so yeah, <laughs> it had more, more to do with her than more, him. Yeah, she's upset about the date. Yeah. <laughs> she brings that up on me and is like, oh, I'm supposed to have a date with them. It's just my luck. Yo, yeah, she's yeah, super... Yeah, just my luck. Like, it's <laughs> all about it's her. just her luck. She's, she acts super sad and confused. Like, you would expect someone to be like, oh no, someone just died in front of me. And then she goes, why, why was he... Why was the demon interested in Tim, but not her? Yeah. That's what she's sad and confused by. Like, is she losing her touch? <laughs> and she's like, hello, <laughs> I was standing there and the demon went was, right by me. I was right there and he didn't... He didn't come after me, and like I just can't deal with this right now. <laughs> Did the demon even know that I write Ask Phoebe? Oh, it's like I'm not even famous famous enough for the demons to come after me anymore. I'm not good enough to be murdered. And to kill stupid Tim, who I'm only upset about because I was supposed to be on a date with him. <laughs> She finds out in the Book of Shadows that this assailant was a raptor demon, which I guess is a demonic hitman for hire. I don't know what raptor, like, yeah, they had to come up somehow, with Somehow uh, not as intimidating as actual raptors. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if, like, you know, ra raptor, like, a, like the raptor bird, like, they're birds of prey, right? Maybe that's <laughs> yeah. the thought. 
I'm I can't say anything just clever Hitman about demon. that. A clever demon took himself out with a piece of reverb. <laughs> if he was just an actual like velociraptor, <laughs> this would be the greatest episode yeah. they ever made. Though they did have a T Rex once, and it was pretty lame. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they didn't just call him the Hitman Demon because that's their yeah. their naming the and these shit things. Man. Yeah, the shit man. <laughs> So that's when uh, Phoebe Dick, <laughs> Phoebe's a dick. Uh, Phoebe mopes that she won't be going on this date. She, that's when she says, "It's just my luck." Yeah. Uh, now it's all about Phoebe. She's secondarily, cursed to never find Tim love. has lost his life, but yeah. she lost the she date. She lost the date, which is more important, <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, she says she's cursed to never find love. That's really what she's upset about because mm-hmm. she's on her, on her whole like I can't find true love kick this whole fucking season annoying as shit and if like the next episode had been the last episode it would have ended with her never finding true love <laughs> which, which i think great. would have been great did she really find true love with poop <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> so uh piper's like nah, nah, we don't have the whole story here uh maybe tim was a witch or another demon so uh maybe you dodged a bullet and he fucking deserved to die <laughs> which is very in character I yeah think, i think zanku was pretty close to the real yeah. piper there <laughs> yeah just a little too caring <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's where he went off the rails is when he was acting like yeah, he cared usually you know you have the bad person pretending to be the good person and they're bad at yeah. it but <laughs> it's like they act too obviously evil his fault was going too yeah, far the it, other way it really is because he acts concerned when he comes in and then like when the actual piper finds yeah. out about this she's like ah, she's being, being silly yeah <laughs> it's silly well it's like Paige tells her like oh yeah phoebe thinks she's cursed and she goes "Ugh, that's stupid <laughs> <laughs> amazing so um so yeah after this accusation besmirching tim's character <laughs> uh phoebe says he's definitely not a demon based on nothing they never go into why she knows for sure that he wasn't a demon because he read her column <laughs> yeah the demon wouldn't read her column that's what but, that demon and that's the didn't problem. get her autograph before killing tim <laughs> why don't demons read the, her column anymore you know? <laughs> they used to so piper is like hey maybe you should go to the morgue and see if you can get a premonition off of tim's body as if that's something that they always do. <laughs> uh, but I guess, again, this is um, Zanku trying to shoo her away, basically. Yeah. So Phoebe reluctantly agrees to do this. And she asks Piper to keep checking the book for answers. And Piper says, sure, but kind of sinister. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I didn't know it wasn't supposed to be her at first. So I was like, why is Piper saying it like this? Because sometimes she just says things she sinisterly. Does. She says a weird line later. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but this is actually because it's Zanku. So when Phoebe leaves, uh, evil Zanku as Piper tries to pick up the Book of Shadows, but it deflects her because um, evil can't touch the Book of Shadows. This mm-hmm. is something they've established previously in the show. But unrelated, it's because it's Zanku. Otherwise, Piper, if she tried to grab it, it also would have deflected. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I figured she said sure like that because she's just annoyed at having yeah, to Yeah, that's do what something. I thought was going on at first. And then when it was Zanku, it's like, oh, now her caring makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Not that line. That line made sense, yeah. but the caring part didn't. No. Wait a minute. What about me? We don't have time to care about you. I don't know why Zanku wouldn't know that he couldn't touch the Book of Shadows at this point, because this is part of his plan to kind of wear down the book's defenses. I guess he's trying to see, like, was that enough? (laughs) Yeah, but it was, he barely did anything. This is all based off of a a hunch he has on, based on nothing. Yeah, he could have, like, if he thought that's all it took, he just had to wait for Phoebe to be whining about her love life, which is almost every episode. Yeah. (laughs) It doesn't take that much work to get the girls to ignore saving people and leave the book alone. Mm Mm-hmm. You just got to, like, get them some mani petties or tell them they got a free vacation or something. Then they're out of the house and yeah. you're fine. They're but I guess he needs a... to wear down their defenses. Yeah. Wait for this big Chris party that was about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> they were going to have Daryl and his wife over, maybe. <laughs> yeah. They were a solid maybe. <laughs> <laughs> On Facebook, they said, like, <laughs> yeah. interested in attending. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So once he gets flung away by the book, uh, he says the book's going to learn to like him and then smirks like he has the upper hand somehow. 
you know, he does the Darth Vader lines like impressive. Most <laughs> impressive. <laughs> the thing I knew would happen happened <laughs> impressive. But you are not a Jedi yet, Book of Shadows. <laughs> Doesn't he quote it later? I feel like he also says the anticlimactic line. He does. That, yeah, okay. That's also from Star Wars, isn't it? No. no I was just thinking, I was confusing uh, the other times that they said Star Wars lines. <laughs> Sorry, but maybe someone in Star Wars said anticlimactic <laughs> at some point. <laughs> and everything Star one. Wars. <laughs> You're just anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, yeah, he's like, ha ha, I have the upper hand, and then teleports away based on nothing. <laughs> so um, he arrives in some sort of crypt, and then meets up with John Kassir as the Crypt Keeper. Yeah. <laughs> what an inspired bit of casting. <laughs> so again, this could have been the penultimate episode. They had John Kassir playing the actual Crypt Keeper. Yeah. As a cute reference to him voicing the Crypt Keeper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like he almost does a Crypt Keeper voice. You could tell he's trying to do it, but not as cartoony. Like, yeah, he's, he's like, I can't to... do the full Crypt Keeper. Yeah, but... I won't quite go into that. But he's in on the joke you know <laughs> so uh zanku and the crypt keeper start waxing nostalgic about the old days when they were friends like during the crusades and the black plague like they're like haha good times <laughs> like they literally say good times yeah <laughs> So they have some sort of plan uh, involving corpses that hasn't quite been revealed to the audience yet. Um, but Zanku is like, uh, we got to take things slow uh, so we don't blow it. Uh, right now, before we get to any of this other stuff, we got to do a little reverse psychology on the girls. <laughs> Normally, they don't care about saving innocence, but what if they did? <laughs> <laughs> we have to give them hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Impossible! That was the fatal flaw in his plan. Yeah. <laughs> The Crypt Keeper gathers that this is why Zanku had Phoebe's boy toy killed, uh, which at first he thought was pretty petty, but now it's genius. He's like, eh, I thought that was kind of petty when you did that, but now I get it. <laughs> so uh, Zanku is going to kill people around the girls and make them feel bad, uh, which he acknowledges isn't enough to make them vulnerable. <laughs> like, he's like, no, no, of course this isn't going to be enough. Because they're soulless banshees. <laughs> uh, but it'll make them weak enough to attack them. And then uh, it'll weaken the Book of Shadows and I can grab it or something. I don't know why he thinks this will work or why it, it does work. He just assumes. Yeah. So uh, cut to Daryl on the phone with Phoebe. He's at work and he says going to the morgue sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> uh, he still goes along with it, but he warned her it was a bad idea. His wife, Sheila, is waiting for him at work with a sexy dress, and he has to turn down date night. All part of Zanku's plan. <laughs> He's worn Daryl down, and yeah. now he can get the Book of Shadows. <laughs> Gonna fuck with Daryl, the heart of the team. <laughs> I don't know why this had to ruin his whole night, because he just, he takes Phoebe down there. He's like, hey, look, and she's like, all right, let's leave. <laughs> I, I guess, I don't know, maybe they would be late and couldn't go to whatever they had tickets for. I don't think they say what it is, is they had tickets for something. Maybe. They could have gone and had a different date, though. But yeah. They didn't have to know. ruin their whole night. Yeah. Stupid Phoebe. <laughs> so uh, Sheridan shows up and informs Daryl that yet another suspicious murder has been linked to the Hallowells. <laughs> they always say Hallowell. I don't want to know. I don't want to I don't want to know. Uh, Sheridan doesn't recall meeting Sheila previously, uh, which she explains by saying she's been having memory problems since that whole coma thing, mm -hmm. <laughs> which they're causing by using memory dust. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila asks Daryl what happened to her, and he pulls a classic Daryl. He says, you don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so things are strained between Daryl and Sheila over all of this. This is his plot in the episode. Surprisingly, he does have a plot because yeah. they're leading into the finale where he has quite a meaty role. Mm -hmm. um, so they're having some problems because of how much he's helping the sisters, how much danger this is putting him in. He's keeping secrets uh, to protect his family. Uh, it's, it's messy. Daryl has to get to Phoebe after everything the girls haven't done for him. <laughs> <laughs> Do something! Do it! So, uh, at the manor, Piper, Leo, and the kids return home after being stuck in traffic. This is because Piper has been insisting on a normal life and forbidden orbing, I guess. <laughs> They're forbidden! <laughs> Stupid Piper. 
So Leah points this out when she complains about the traffic, and then she says, I didn't give up the right to complain about it. <laughs> <sighs> Hear Leo go and stick his head in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take the kids. I'll see you <laughs> never. <laughs> so they were out buying party supplies for Chris's first birthday. And Piper says she isn't sure if they should throw the party after Phoebe's friend just died. I find that uncharacteristic also, that she's like, maybe we should hold off on this party. Yeah. Uh, but Leo says that they can't put life on hold every time a demon attacks. <laughs> like, have they switched bodies? Like, <laughs> Yeah, very strange. Seems like something that that the either other one would do. But yeah. Anyway. Hey, sh- you think Leo would be like, oh, well, you know, Phoebe's feeling bad right now. Piper, I'll eat her head off. And I'm alive. <laughs> so Paige shows up and says she's worried about how hard Phoebe is taking this death. Uh, and that Phoebe is worried about being cursed, which Piper blows off by saying, eh, that's silly. Mm. <laughs> it's, this is the true Piper, not the Zanku yeah. Piper. <laughs> So Paige uh, would like to investigate Tim's death further, uh, but she has to meet Joanna, who is a new charge of hers and a future white lighter to be. This is the point in the series where they decided charges are white lighters in training and not innocents that are being protected by white lighters or witches. They were introduced as like they were protecting witches, but Mm -hmm. now it's other white lighters, which seems redundant to me. Yeah, I don't know what the point is. I thought that white lighters were just people who died and then they were resurrected by, you know, doing a good deed or whatever. And then they were given a second chance to Mm -hmm. be like guardian angels, basically. Yeah. Which is how they've (laughs) usually done it. And then they suddenly it was like charges are white lighters and not witches. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And it's like, I don't know what Paige is really supposed to be doing besides hanging out with her and being a friend. Like. That's her job. Yeah, I think she's supposed to hang out with her until it's revealed she's going to be a white lighter. But at that point, wouldn't it be after she's died? Because white lighters die. Mm-hmm. They die and then they're made white lighters. Yeah. Unless you're born half dead like Paige. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's a <laughs> she's an exception, not the rule. <laughs> so uh, Piper says they're going to have to postpone Chris's party. And Leo is devastated. <laughs> He's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> It's time for the Chris show. Yeah. <laughs> he turns into Mark Wahlberg in The Happening. Like, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> so Paige says Phoebe wouldn't want them to postpone the party. <laughs> <laughs> Piper tries to protest, but then Paige talks over her and insists the party will go on. <laughs> Paige is like, don't worry, we can do this. And orbs out. And then Piper sinisterly tells Wyatt she's going to teach him a new word. Denial. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we know it's not Zanku. Yeah. <laughs> Never should should have taught my kids how to read. <laughs> so yeah, at the morgue, Daryl tells Phoebe to watch out for Sheridan. Like she's on to you guys, and she blows him off. She can't worry about her There's right no now. Time for that right now. <laughs> And he's like, look, you should be worried about this, because continually hitting her with memory dust isn't going to last long term. Seems to be doing some brain damage to her or something. (laughs) Uh, Plus, you're connected to a ton of murders, which the memory dust is not helping. Mm -hmm. And then Phoebe is like, well, she's got nothing. She's just going off a hunch. (laughs) Which is not true. You're connected to a lot of murders. You're in a lot of evidence files, which we see in the the finale that wasn't a finale, (laughs) which said that neighbor Dan was murdered by the sisters. (laughs) Uh, So Daryl is like, if Sheridan remembers everything, it's going to be over for all of us. And then Phoebe mopes that maybe that won't be such a bad thing. Oh, (laughs) shut up, Phoebe. She's fucking far quad. Like, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. (laughs) Everyone else can go down because I'm mopey today. (laughs) Shut up, Phoebe. I don't have time to care about you, Daryl, or my other stupid sisters. (sighs) Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. So they go in to see Tim's body, and I guess they can just do whatever they want unsupervised. Like, they just go in there. There's no one else there. Yeah, they unzip no the bag. Corner. They're touching the body. Like, there's an investigation going on currently with yeah. this particular body, the but they can just go on. bodies are piling up in there, and I guess that's because the coroner's never in. <laughs> <laughs> so they open up the bag. They see his fucked up face. And Daryl says it looks like someone was trying to send a message because this was vicious and calculated and makes you think twice when you see him. 
I guess. <laughs> He's like, we see this all the time. Like, what? With like, fucking Wolverine claw faces or whatever? <laughs> like, someone was trying to send a message. What is he talking about? Yeah. It's true, but what is he talking about? <laughs> he read the script. He's like, I think it's a message. <laughs> yeah, I feel like everything everyone says in this episode is because the script said so. Like, they jumped to so yeah. many conclusions that are so specific. I don't know why I claw to the face is like, this has to be a message. How is this vicious and calculated? It just seems like, you know, a monster came in and went, rah, 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 and yeah. she, like, killed him. And then, like, like could have been is... a bear. Like, yeah. <laughs> it seems like this was a message from this that a... bear. Yeah, that bear was. <laughs> vicious and calculated <laughs> so phoebe doesn't get a premonition and they leave mm-hmm. her premonitions are only to see like dates and stuff related to her at this point so they're yeah, fucking useless it's like there's no dates left in this spot <laughs> <laughs> so that was pointless so they leave and zanku and the crypt keeper teleport in and then they start to goof around with tim's body <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Phoebe calls Paige and says that Tim died because of her, feeling pretty low. Uh, and then Paige dismisses it and tells her to sleep it off. Mm. Whatever. Sleep it off. Take, get some rest, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this whole episode, they're acting like Phoebe is insane. Like, she's overreacting and you shouldn't feel bad about someone dying. No. And you're just crazy Phoebe. <laughs> crazy old Phoebe. Nothing supernatural ever happens around here. We're in season seven. <laughs> it was possibly the last one. Mm. These fucking witches. Whatever. So Paige is at P3. She's meeting up with Joanna, whose abusive boyfriend shows up and says that he doesn't want her hanging around Paige. <laughs> He's acting super obvious. I don't know if... Is it supposed to be Zanku the whole time, or yeah, does they... this guy really exist? They seem to imply it was Zanku the whole time, and I guess it could be either way. It could have mm. been Zanku appeared and pretended to be this guy, or Zanku knew that this was someone close to Paige and wanted it to, to be a plausible scenario that maybe her neglect ended up getting her killed. Mm-hmm. Even though it, it only lasts for like two seconds, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Joanna Joanna's making a bunch of, like, excuses uh, for her abusive boyfriend. And she's like, all right, I'm going to go with him. I'll call you later. And surely nothing bad will happen to her. <laughs> Today's going to be the best day ever. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing horrible going to happen today. At the manor that night, Tim Zombie shows up in bed with Phoebe and tells her she got him killed before trying to strangle her. <laughs> I slept with a zombie. <laughs> Did like the crypt keeper when he says he's re- when he's resurrecting Tim. He's like, oh, Rigo hasn't even set in yet, so it'll be easy. It's like they must have booked it. Like they <laughs> grabbed his body, interviewed Phoebe super quick, sent her home so she yeah. could be at home, and then also go back and go down there. Yeah, like, that had to have been really super quick. All that, and and again, an investigation is going on two hours or yeah. less after he died. Then they're already like checking out the body alone. Yeah, like, the, the guy, body's the, the in the lady morgue that was, already in the body. <laughs> the lady that was in the report is the last person to see him alive, and who was suspected of many, many murders. Yeah. He's allowed to just go in there. Yeah, and she's also been allowed to go home without much questioning. I yeah. guess <laughs> I don't know if the police ever questioned her. Maybe they did off screen. I guess that's why she's in the report. Yeah, but, but also very quickly, did you kill him? No. Thank well, you thank for you your, your time. <laughs> 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 so um so av- when that's happening phoebe runs out away from zombie tim and piper and leo rush in uh but tim has disappeared i don't know how because he's just like a zombie right mm-hmm. but apparently this well, is I supposed, think it's to, supposed be- to be them teleporting them back so that the whole thing got phoebe's crazy at this point it's supposed to be that she or that the the crypt keeper can't control them like he needs uh an actual uh he needs zanku to resurrect them so he can just i don't know manipulate I'm, the body in some way i'm it a just little seems like confused the same thing, so yeah like when because i thought that was the point of having the crypt keeper there to do these resurrections because he's the one who talks about resurrecting tim but then yeah. we see zanku doing it and it's like yeah well okay. they say that the, that He's an alchemist, technically, is what they call him, not the Crypt Keeper, mm-hmm. but they say that the alchemist can uh, manipulate the dead, but can't resurrect them, and it needs a, a, a upper-level demon to do it. 
So Zanku is the one to do it. But then it's like, so what's like, the difference between Zombie Tim and Zombie Davidson later? Like, they do the same thing. I so know. I don't really get it. I don't know if, like, the Crypt Keepers, like, putting their memories back in. I'm not really Yeah, clear. but Tim also is saying, like, oh, oh yeah, you're, like, the, putting the memories in. But is that what's going on? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, My actually. My best guess. <laughs> he, does, uh, he does seem to be controlling some of them during the battle later. Like, he's got the little lightning fingers or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, Piper and Leah are Russian. Tim has disappeared. Uh, and then Phoebe looks crazy. This is all part of like, maybe Phoebe is just imagining this stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so the next morning, Piper in pajamas and Ugg boots <laughs> <laughs> brings a distraught Phoebe some coffee. Uh, Paige is some also there. Shut up, Shut up. I don't know why she's wearing the Ugg boots in the house with the pajamas. <clears throat> Kick Phoebe's ass. <laughs> uh, so Paige is like, you sure you didn't just dream this, Phoebe? Crazy Phoebe. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing weird ever happens to them. Uh, Leo, meanwhile, has found the thing it actually is in the Book of Shadows. While everyone else is like, ah, eh, whatever. He's like, oh, here's this very specific thing. I think it's an alchemist that can control the dead and then the upper level demon thing. And blah, blah, blah. He knows all of this based on the very vague description that Phoebe gives him. <laughs> like, a zombie showed up in her bed. That's all <laughs> he's got. I slept with the zombie? <laughs> yeah, which may or may not have even been there. It could have been a hallucination. But he's <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it's this. Yeah. And he's right. <laughs> So Phoebe's feeling guilty, and Piper continues to dismiss her. Uh, she's like, why don't you go to work? Yeah. <laughs> Get back to business as usual instead of making yourself crazy. Yeah. Just stick your face in your stupid car and stop bugging me. Work. Yeah. For the first time in her life, Phoebe doesn't want to go to work. <laughs> and everyone else is like, eh, your trauma's annoying. Go to work. <laughs> oh, I can't work. <laughs> I can't deal with this. Eh. Work is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling all of the trauma of all the pain in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Leo is like, no, no, work is is a public place, so no one's gonna attack you there. As if that doesn't regularly happen, it's happened. Yeah, like we recently covered an episode <laughs> where like a, there was a fucking brawl going on <laughs> at work. Well, I could never invade the mirror. Yeah. Plus, if like if this thing is appearing. Like if she's either hallucinating it or it's appearing when other people aren't around, she could be in her office and then Zombie Tim goes booga 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 and then goes away. Like it could still happen. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, Piper cancels Chris's party, uh, but she does it while looking at Leo in an "I told you so" way. So it's really for her, not for anyone else. <laughs> Guess we gotta cancel that party, idiot. <laughs> Look fine. I'll make all the phone calls, Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Paige gets a phone call from Joanna saying she got into a fight with her abusive boyfriend. And then Piper goes like, is that really something a white lighter needs to deal with? <laughs> is it life or death? Come on. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Yeah, <laughs> terrible. That's so awful, though. Like, no empathy whatsoever. Mm-hmm. She could be, like, a little more kind about it. Maybe, like, you know, we, we have this going on. Do you think it could wait? Or is she going to be okay? And then. Yeah. It's so weird because, like, when Paige explains, you know, I think she's in with this abusive boyfriend and I really think I need to check on her. Her tone doesn't change. Yeah. And she goes, oh, okay, then go. Yeah, well, she <laughs> says it like it was her idea the whole time. Yeah. Like, Paige didn't want to go and she's ordering her. Like, no matter you what You should it is, go then. Dismiss. Yeah, it's got to be her idea. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Crypt Keeper caresses Tim's sexy body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't we relive him again? Please. This whole time, he's just like, he wants to fuck the corpse. Like, <laughs> he's just like, oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so he's like, please, we gotta bring him to life for real. I love him. And Zanku is like, no, <laughs> I won't. <laughs> And he's like, well, what if I brought you an even older, moldier corpse? Does that do anything for you? And he's like, yeah, fuck yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So he's like, all right, I'm going to bring Inspector Davidson to life. This was a a guy who they had a story arc in season three where he was, uh, I think, doing what Inspector Sheridan was doing. He was investigating them. Yeah, and he, related to coal and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he was in. He was doing basically what Sheridan was doing, and they were blowing him off. And he gets murdered, um, and Prue 
can't save him. Like she wants to save him, but finds out that death is inevitable with him because that's when they first meet the angel of death. Mm -hmm. It was like a serious moment. It was a big moment in the series where it was like, you can't save everyone back when they cared about saving people. (laughs) Uh, but for some reason, through this whole episode, they actually like this was Phoebe's thing. Mm-hmm. Like Phoebe was Prue to the to the point where they edit. I mean, they have to edit around Prue in flashbacks anyway because they don't have likeness rights for Shannon Doherty anymore. Mm-hmm. But like, they edit around it to make it appear as if Phoebe was the one that couldn't save him and mm-hmm. had to deal with this whole thing. Yeah, it's like the show is trying to gaslight you <laughs> as to what really happened. Yeah. So yeah, they have the body of Inspector Davidson. He's and, doing uh, pretty well for having died four years ago. Yeah, he looks pretty good. And Zanku, Zanku says he has to to bring uh, him back because uh, Phoebe will lose her faith and then spread that loss faith of, of the faith. Heart. Yeah, <laughs> she'll lose her faith of the heart and then spread that to the other sisters, starting with Paige, the weakest one. <laughs> he knows that Paige will be the one that first to go because Piper is a tough nut to crack, as we learn later in the episode. <laughs> I thought that party having to be canceled would break her, but it did nothing. No, it only made her stronger. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he knows like he's got to break Phoebe because she's the first one to give up on everything. <laughs> uh, and this is where he re- uh, relays his plan about getting the Book of Shadows. Yada, yada, yada. At the morgue, uh, Daryl is going to check if Tim's there for the girls. Uh, he's not there, but Sheridan is snooping around. It says she's on to him. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, why are you protecting the sisters? I need to know. And he does not have an answer. He doesn't know either. I'm a cop. Because I'm a cop. I I would tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. (laughs) Things get very sinister with this story. I shouldn't have said that. (laughs) So uh, Paige is comforting a crying Joanna who is terrified that her abusive boyfriend is going to do something. Uh, But she gets a call from Piper who informs her about Tim being missing. And then, and then Paige goes like, ah, oh, well, I guess Phoebe wasn't crazy. <laughs> like, just says it like, meh, okay. <laughs> like, as if they hadn't been making her feel terrible this whole episode. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. So Piper is in the kitchen. She's saying she's making a vanquishing potion to use on the alchemist and to help Tim rest in peace. But she says it like she hates Tim yeah. for some reason. Like she, she'll she begrudgingly help this asshole rest in peace. Like what do you ever do to her? This is not saying you. She like rolls her eyes when she's yeah. saying this. Like what the fuck is that about? Is there some backstory going on here that we don't know? If this was Zanku Piper, she would have cared more. (laughs) So Piper is like, you got to go pick up Phoebe so we can take care of this. And then like Paige is like, well, I think Joanna, like her boyfriend might hurt her. And she's like, "Ah, fuck Joanna. It's not life or death. Get out of there. (laughs) You fucking asshole. I love this because this directly gets her killed and like they never bring this up that Piper got her killed. Yeah, <laughs> this is technically Piper's fault. She should be feeling guilty about this. But as we find out, Piper feels guilty no. about nothing. <laughs> she <laughs> has no <laughs> remorse. <laughs> she even says, she's like, yeah, the faster we get rid of the demons, the faster you can get back to the charge. Yeah, yeah, stupid man charge. We'll deal with our thing first, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I don't know why also they're like, oh, we don't want Joanna to die, but also she has to die to become a white lighter. But then she doesn't become a white lighter yeah, later. She doesn't dies. doesn't make any sense. It's like they forgot what white whiters are. Light whiters? Light whiters. <laughs> <laughs> we're back to Charmed Hard with yeah, Vengeance. Yeah, we're back to light whiters. <laughs> I'm in need of a guilt remover spell. So uh, Paige is like, well, I got to go. And Joanna's freaking out. Like, she's like, what if he comes back and gets me? And she's like, it's all going to be okay. Anyway, as soon as she leaves, uh, Zanku as her boyfriend shows up and murders her. (laughs) (laughs) And the day was saved. (laughs) The elders were just not paying attention. He goes, should we get her now? Make her a a white lighter? (laughs) Yeah, they mentioned the elders in this episode, but they don't get involved in any way. And I feel like this would be at the time you'd want to get them involved. Mm Mm-hmm. So at the paper, Phoebe is frantically sending letters out to readers, like she's mailing them personally to her, to them, uh, and to herself, um, to overcompensate for the zombie. Dear Phoebe, I love you. Love Phoebe. Love Phoebe. Uh, she's trying to overcompensate for the zombie she slept with. 
<laughs> Even her assistant's not kissing her butt over this one. Like, what? Why are you doing this? <laughs> so Paige orbs in to take her home. And uh, but now Phoebe is in ultra work blow off mode, so no dice. They they, they fuck themselves over by yeah. getting her to work because now she's like, no, I can't go. They need me at the paper. <laughs> Paige calls this classic Phoebe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so uh, Paige says uh, that she can deal with her guilt by killing the shit out of the demon responsible. This is how you're going to deal with this. Because uh, Phoebe tries to have a moment, right? Like, she's mm-hmm. just like, how am I supposed to deal with the fact that this guy, just because he was in my vicinity, ended up dead? And she's mm-hmm. like, well, you didn't kill some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, Paige immediately has surmised this is Zanku, uh, because the episode's getting closer to the end. No other reason. <laughs> yeah. Gotta be him. Meanwhile, Zanku has brought Davidson back, and they flash back to the episode where he was killed uh, while cutting around Prue very uh, stealthily. They're like, mm-hmm. yeah, sneakily just <laughs> zoom in on Phoebe watching as if this was her thing. So Zanku is like, well, Phoebe's the one responsible for this, and then has to remind him of like a scene he had with her <laughs> to pretend this was a big thing. <laughs> she was covering for Cole at the time and uh, and lying to him, and so I guess that's why he thinks, oh yeah, yeah, I guess... I guess it was her fault I got killed. (laughs) Never mentions Prue in this episode, even though it was a big deal. And they could say her name. They just couldn't show Prue. Mm -hmm. But not mentioned. No. At home, uh, the girls are in the kitchen and then uh, casually guess Zanku's whole plan. They're like, yeah, I think this is what's going on. Yeah, all right. (laughs) (laughs) Phoebe is like, oh, wait, if if that was Zanku pretending to be you earlier, then how do I know that you're not an evil shapeshifter? (laughs) And us to, like, question Piper. Uh, she's like, I don't know, here's some embarrassing story from when we were kids or something. <laughs> like, tell me you're not an evil shapeshifter. It's funny uh, how quickly that gets brought up and then just diffused. Like, mm-hmm. that could have been an episode where he's screwing with them by constantly pretending to be one of them. Yeah. So they couldn't feel safe. <laughs> I guess they know he could shapeshift, so I can't say they didn't do an episode where something like that happened. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember Maybe enough. I'm forgetting. <laughs> I know so like if he turned... wants to just say, uh, disrupt them in some way, that could work, though. Yeah, yeah. I think that was part of it, but they just kind of bumbled the story here. Mm. I do know in the finale, he gets turned into a pig, but with his head. Right. That was something. <laughs> that sure was something. <laughs> and he's like, I was in the Mummy movies, you know. <laughs> I'm a real actor. <laughs> in the Resident Evil movies, yeah. so I don't know. <laughs> I've been in real things. <laughs> Remember that, please. Wow. Remember me call for the my Resident real roles. Evil movies real things. <laughs> <laughs> Remember me for my real roles and not charm. <laughs> was on Star Trek later. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Phoebe goes to check the Book of Shadows again, and then Leo comes in. He's like, "Where's she going?" And then Paige jokes that she's going to a mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Phoebe. <laughs> No, th- no thought or care for her trauma at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's look- Phoebe. She deserves it. <laughs> yeah, but you know the zombie's gonna be on the other foot in a minute with Paige. So. <laughs> anyway, uh, Leo updates us on the Chris party situation. We were all were wondering about how if that was getting canceled or not, and it it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. a- Daryl said he wasn't gonna make it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> He's having marital problems because of something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Paige goes to check on Joanna, and she's dead. <laughs> but not gonna be a white lighter, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't and Paige know. is upset for her, and she didn't go. Oh, but I was gonna have a date with her. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do love that she runs over to start weeping over her body, and then Zanku is just standing in the door, like two feet away from her, yeah. like, smirking what? evilly to like poof away. <laughs> There's no reason <laughs> for that. What if she turned around, like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I, my whole plan was spoiled because you were meant to think that her boyfriend did it. Yeah. I had to be here to go. <laughs> <laughs> How long was he waiting there? Was it like she she just happened to orb in front of him and he's like, whoo, glad it's she wasn't like turned anytime around. Anytime someone came down the hallway, he's like, oh, oh uh, that's not a uh. And then he just kills them, chucks them out into a dumpster <laughs> and then waits. <laughs> At the police station, Sheridan is telling on Daryl. <laughs> she's got Sheila, and she's like, you will not believe what your husband's been doing. <laughs> Guess who he's covering for. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
Uh, Sheila does. Sheila does know about the sisters at this point. I don't remember when she found out, but she does know. But um, she chews out Daryl for all of this stuff because he hasn't been telling her everything. And she's like, "But don't worry, I'll always protect the girls' secret. I'm just <laughs> mad at you, but I'll always protect the girls." <laughs> and she goes, "This is their fight. Give it up." <laughs> yeah. It's either their family or yours. <laughs> so. At, at this ultimatum, he decides to ignore the girl's calling. This does not sit well with him. Paige is like, how can he ignore our call? <laughs> Guess there's some problems even Daryl can't solve. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paige is mad about this. She's like, why isn't he answering? And then Piper says, I'm, I'm beginning to think he's not going to be able to help anyway. Mm -hmm. But at this point, they think Joanna was murdered by her abusive boyfriend. Which you can call the normal police for. You don't need Daryl for this. <laughs> they don't know it's Zanku until two seconds later, and it's like, oh yeah, it was probably Zanku. But, yeah. like, you could have called the normal police, and to get that guy, they know who the boyfriend is. I love that they immediately come to the conclusion it was Zanku with this page thing, because it's even further from this Phoebe thing, but then the Phoebe thing comes back, and they're like, crazy Phoebe's at it again. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, when Paige is feeling guilty about what happened, uh, Leo is like, you can't blame yourself. Blame Piper. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one who's like, ah, fuck her. <laughs> it wasn't right for death. Sh She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, think about this. We had to cancel Chris's party. <laughs> Uh, Piper immediately is like, yeah, it's Zanku, and I think he's targeting the people in our lives. Dummy Leo can't figure out why a demon would do such a thing. Like, huh? What's the plan here? Killing the people you know and love? Huh? 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 So, uh, they do ask at this point, like, who, who they're gonna kill for Piper or bring back or whatever to make her feel guilty. Um, and they're like, well, we're going to shoo Leo and the kids off to magic school. I got to point out, they do not give Piper anyone specific. No. Later, they bring a bunch of generics out because apparently there's a horde of people she didn't save that they're bringing in, but no one's specific uh, that they can think of. people I didn't save or care about. I don't get, like, okay, she's like, ev all of them have killed so many innocents, they don't give a shit. But mm -hmm. she had specific instances they could have brought up. There was this doctor who, like, I don't know, stole their powers and put them in monkeys or something. I don't know. It was a stupid as shit thing. But he was, like, I think the first example with Piper of an innocent that she couldn't save and she felt really bad about it. Like, it was a storyline that that happened. They already got that detective guy back. They're not, They're not gonna get more. all these guest stars. <laughs> it's just random Tim, that one guy, and some extras with no lines. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so Leo and the children shoot off to magic school. Upstairs, Phoebe is confronted by Inspector Davidson. Uh, and then they, they act like Phoebe did all of Prue's stuff in that story. Like, she's like, oh, yeah, I tried to save you and all this other stuff. Like, they're really straight up acting like it was just Phoebe the whole time. Mm -hmm. Davidson tries to kill Phoebe. She runs away, runs into Piper and goes, get him! <laughs> <laughs> kill him! It's teleported out before Piper sees. I like that they try to pretend for, like, a couple lines. Uh, later in the episode that they're conflicted about destroying the innocents that they failed to save. And yet here, P like Phoebe is like, yeah, kill him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no qualms here. Yeah, blow him up, Piper. <laughs> You're a lazy hand wave. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So Davidson has disappeared and Piper's like, no one's there again. Like, she's like, he's not, he's not there. And he died four years ago. <laughs> and again, as if she's crazy. They know the whole plan at this point. And it's like, no, you're crazy. Crazy Phoebe. <laughs> Zanku teleports in upstairs by the book. He tries to take it again, uh, but it still doesn't work. He thinks that the defenses are going down though he he's getting closer but not quite there i don't know why he thinks that but apparently that's what's going on he leaves piper and phoebe creep back in like they're like huh? is there a zombie in here huh? 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 <laughs> did you do that that was phoebe <laughs> <laughs> oh, i just can't deal with this right now. farts are not enough <laughs> So they go to check the book, um, and then Piper yells for Paige. Right now, Paige is dealing with the fresh trauma of losing this charge. <laughs> and she's like, Paige, you gotta find that Joanna corpse right now. <laughs> go get her. 
I need to follow it. Do it. So uh, they go to scry for her. And uh, they scry hard. <laughs> we are did scry hard. <laughs> yeah. Better scry hard. <laughs> Paige says that she's the cause of her death. Uh, but she says it like she's annoyed at it, not that she's feeling bad. Like she seems like, she, oh, because I'm the cause of this. <laughs> they find the corpse uh, by scrying. They orb into the crypt where she is. And they're confronted by Joanna, Tim, Davidson, and the Crypt Keeper in a generic suspense sting. Yeah. <laughs> <Diddly -dee. laughs> this could have been, again, the penultimate episode. They're in season seven, and they're still using generic suspense <laughs> sting. He summons a whole horde of innocents for Piper, the yeah, queen of getting people gets killed. And the rest. And the rest. <laughs> Zombie Tim asks if they've done any good at all as he throws Phoebe into a vase. <laughs> it's very satisfying. Yeah. Well, true. They have yeah. not. This whole thing is the girls being confronted by the innocents dying or that they got killed mm -hmm. by their negligence. They never get into that. I do want to point out in the comics, the innocents that they did save get retroactively murdered <laughs> uh, in, the, in the season nine. So cool. they're all dead. <laughs> It's like that supernatural episode where they did the yeah yeah they have the to... people he said we killed them now yeah the CW and WB hate <laughs> when they save people actually <laughs> so the girls fight the zombie innocents and then Piper bravely blows them up <laughs> <laughs> Piper bravely ran away <laughs> <laughs> the crypt keeper reacts in shock like even he didn't expect Piper to be that cold to just <laughs> blow them up and he's like Zeke you told me you wouldn't. <laughs> So much for Joanna being a homemade later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't expect the most evil woman in the world. <laughs> Piper is not... She barely seems to have a conflict about doing no. this. Like flames start appearing near her. <laughs> she, she is a cold, hard... A cold farted itch. Cold farted itch. In this episode. I can't, I can't believe how cold she is. <laughs> a uh, big monster. Yeah. Then uh, Zanku blows him up because his story's done. <laughs> the Crypt For Keeper's gone. Absolutely no reason. <laughs> I'll blow up my buddy. Eh. <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> I don't know. He's known him since <laughs> what he's saying, the Crusades. The Crusades. <laughs> they like... were friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, I'll blow him <laughs> up now because a magic eight ball told me to. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> no. Uh, what you said? <laughs> that you only meant well. It's just like they can't write anything but like the main villain kills his underling because I don't <laughs> question mark uh, end the episode. <laughs> yeah. I love too that the girls ask why he did that later as if that isn't what every villain has done for seven years I on know. this show. I love that they say, well, like, let's check the book for the answer to yeah. why Zanku killed what? his friend for no reason. Look, that's not. The kind of thing you like, look up. Why would that be in the book? And, look, like, and sometimes Zanku might kill his <laughs> friends because we just want well, to end the episode. The only one who has the answer, the only place you can find the answer is in Zanku's heart. You can't, yeah. <laughs> you can't find it in the we book. We see Zanku after that with the book, and he's trying to look it up, too. And he's like, oh, so that's why I killed the Crypt Keeper. And then you look, and there's a script inside it. And like, yeah. Oh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, bad scripts. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> So Zanku disappears and acts like everything went according to plan. He just wanted them to defeat the innocents and then him to blow up his friend from the Crusades and then accomplish. But why I, did I guess that he could get weaken the book. them enough know. to get the book anyway? It seems like they were kind of back to fairly standard. Yeah, it didn't really seem like they were that broken up over it. <laughs> yeah, like this should have been a plot where they're really distraught <laughs> for him to get the book, but it seems like they're you know, cold, evil Piper, especially, is not really broken up about anything. Yeah, well, like we were saying earlier, minor inconveniences will get them to give up everything, <laughs> so he didn't need to try that hard. No. <laughs> At the police station, Daryl is talking to Sheridan, and he's like, well, I'm gonna go on a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> get things right with my family. And then it turns sinister. <laughs> he's like, the girls won't let you take them down. <laughs> 
<laughs> what they're doing is above reproach. <laughs> he says it's above reproach. <laughs> As if they will murder her if she gets too close. Well, and to be fair, they've murdered him they before. <laughs> they've murdered him before, but Sheridan yeah. does get murdered. Yeah, because she of gets them. murdered. They do murder her. They in murder the, her. In the next and episode. He can tell her from experience, like, oh, they will murder you. They've murdered me. <laughs> they treat the charmed ones like they're fucking mobsters. <laughs> These are supposed to be our heroes. Yeah. Like, that's the only thing you would think yeah. with him coming to her like that. <laughs> Why does he say it like this? He could just be like, you are get getting into something you don't understand mm -hmm. and not act like they're going to murder Deeply her. Deeply connected evil people. <laughs> yeah, like there, there's a million other ways he could have worded this that wasn't implying that they were evil <laughs> and going to kill her. <laughs> So, um, at the manor. Yeah, could have talked about, like, <clears throat> they supposedly do a bunch of good, but yeah. he doesn't bring that up. <laughs> Above reproach. I, you know what? I'm going to reproach the hell out of them. Shut up, Daryl. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I'm not going to Chris's party. <laughs> <laughs> at the manor, Paige asks why they don't just vanquish Zanku like they did the source. And Phoebe says he'll be ready for that, so we need something new. That's <laughs> how so they explain why. We're going to do something again, yeah. although we just had Zanku blow up his friend for no reason, but oh well. Yeah. <laughs> we won't try. <laughs> so that's when they discover the Book of Shadows is missing. Cut to Zanku greedily reading the book and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what is this page on coal? <laughs> The fuck is this Sears what, portrait? His turn ons? He likes, what is the matter with that? He likes flamenco dancing and he, he has mind blowing sex. I need to find this call. I can resurrect him. I can do that. I'm an upper level demon. Though so I blew up my friend that puts his memories back in. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> Knew I jumped the gun on that. <laughs> It says to be continued, and the finale really, I mean, it's the storyline's connected, but it really didn't need it to be continued, because the, the two episodes together aren't really a cohesive whole. It's just the story arc continues into the next one. Mm -hmm. I guess they were just trying to say, like, please tune into our finale. <laughs> please. I, we promise it's please. going somewhere. It wasn't, but they were no. promising it. <laughs> they imply they might teach the next generation till they're like, oh, good thing we can throw this book out. <laughs> They did get blown up, and if you cut, if you just jump to the credits after the house blows up, <laughs> you can pretend that they died, and that's yeah, the end. that'd be a much better ending. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the episode. What are your final thoughts, Phelan? Uh, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, for something this deep into Charmed, it's not one of the worst episodes they've done, but I've want a plot i guess that breaks them up more if that's the point for him to get to the book and they're not really I and mean, phoebe thinks she's crazy for a bit that's the biggest <laughs> thing that happens <laughs> otherwise i don't know i mean <laughs> it's fine <laughs> for charmed especially in season seven <laughs> i feel like i mean there was an idea here I mean, uh -huh. they should be confronted with the fact that they don't save fucking innocence. Yeah. But I don't the problem think... is that they don't care. <laughs> yeah, they don't care. I don't think they ever really address the fact that they have lost a lot of innocence. They could have gotten into this in this episode and still done the Zanku story in a more effective way. Uh, but they don't. And the sisters are still kind of mean. I, th I think it is toned down compared to a lot in this era. But mm. it just is kind of boring, to be honest. Yeah. Except for the Crypt great. Keeper. I like seeing John Kassir, but... <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It's just not as annoying as a lot of charm can be by this point. Yeah. It's, it was better. It just goes into dull, I think. Mm-hmm. Because it's just not executed, though. Well. Yeah. I guess it was good we got back to Davidson. Remember all that? <laughs> Prue it's erasure. Like, yeah, like, if they could have done anything with Prue, that would have been like something to make any of this matter. But, if they had Shannon they... Doherty's likeness rights, they could have brought Prue back to yeah, because she'd been dead less time than him. They could have mm -hmm. resurrected her. <laughs> yeah, if, like they had something that really hit them all with Prue. Yeah, and that would disrupt them enough, I think, to get the book realistically. Yeah, what if they they were at like Prue's grave and he was threatening mm -hmm. to bring her back? So you don't have to use the likeness rights, but it, it brings more of a personal stake to them more than just the innocence that they don't give a shit about. Yeah. 
They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Phelan, who is your Margoyle? And if you have one, who's your Carman? Uh, Margoyles. It's going to be Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> Because she makes Tim's death all about herself. <laughs> it's just annoying. I have dates. Lots and lots of dates. And Tim could have been up there too for his glass job. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it with Phoebe and Tim, kind of. Okay. They're a package deal in this one. <laughs> they both sucked in regards to his death. And that promo, I feel, brings him up to a loser level, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have a Carmen or no? A Carmen. It's probably Daryl for not going to Chris's party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a Margoyle and Carmen. I was torn between uh, Phoebe and Piper as the Margoyle. Mm -hmm. I think I I'm going to select Piper. <laughs> because she was the direct cause of some people's deaths. She it's was the true. most cold. I, I feel like Phoebe somewhat cared sometimes mm -hmm. about the fact that she got Tim killed. <laughs> <laughs> she was making it about herself, but I feel like sometimes she had moments of clarity. <laughs> whereas, whereas uh, Piper was just a bit. <laughs> a, a, Piper was a monster in this episode. <laughs> she really was. Uh, Carman, I'm going to say the Crypt Keeper because um, <laughs> he had a good time with Zanku, and I liked seeing him. There's no other reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's the end of the episode. If you guys enjoyed this podcast, we'd appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, or reviewed wherever you're watching or listening to this on. You can find us in audio form wherever audio podcasts... I guess there's only audio podcasts. <laughs> wherever you see the music, uh, you can enjoy us in audio form wherever podcasts are listened to. <laughs> you can also... Uh, listen to us or watch us on YouTube. Uh, I'm youtube.com slash movie nights a series. Phelan is youtube.com slash Phelan's. You can support our shows on Patreon and get uh, bonuses like seeing the videos ahead of time or voting for Charm Rewinds. You can see my stuff at patreon.com slash movie nights and Phelan's at patreon.com slash Phelan's. Thanks to Peter Hunter for editing the podcast for us and for the awesome theme song. You can find him at Pretor Hunter on YouTube and on Twitter. What hashtag should we use? Hashtag cold farted Piper. <laughs> uh, hashtag I slept with a jam. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's... All right, we'll see you, Charmanders, next time. Bye.